uh, this video is for the benefit of those of you who do not have a compatible baseband to use the Ultra Snow Unlock. Uh, this is geared towards iPhone 4 and 4S units. Uh, you have two uh, methods that you can use. Both methods are available from www.givi.com. Uh, they provide an IME permanent unlock, uh, which is the more costly of the two methods, but it will permanently, un permanently unlock your GSM AT&T iPhone 4 or 4S. Um, if you don't have an AT&T version of the iPhone 4, uh, you can use the second method, which is using their UltraSim. They have three different versions of it, uh, depending on what model of iPhone that you have. Uh, and what the uh, UltraSim is, here's a photo of it from their site, is it comes in a, its own custom SIM tray and there's a chip with a circuit board. Uh, your own provider's SIM card will rest on top of this and you put it in. Uh, the difference between the different versions of their chip are as follows. Uh, the iPhone 4 uh, version uh, a GSM uh, will support all versions of iOS 4 through iOS 5.1.1. Uh, the required modem firmwares or basebands are as follows 1.59.00. But if you have 1.59.00, you should just use UltraSnow to unlock, as well as 2.10.04, 3.10.01 and 4.10.01. It does not currently work with the modem firmware 4.12.01 or 4.11.08 although I understand they are working on updating it so it will work with those. Um, it will work with or without uh, jailbreaking. Both of them require various steps to, uh, to get it up and running. Um, if, you're, if you have a jailbroken device you uh, would use the Furious mod available from the City Store. Um, again, all, all the uh, instructions for that is avail are available on their website. They have video instructions on setting up the Furious mod or doing it without jailbreaking. Uh, if you have a GSM version of an iPhone 4S, uh, then there's absolutely nothing to do. Uh, you just put the uh, chip in. Uh, the Ultra Sim in and you're done. No jailbreak, no configuring, nothing at all required. Uh, that's by far the simplest method. If you have, uh, and it also and it only supports iOS 5 through 5.11. Uh, the same thing with the iPhone 4s CDMA version, which also works with the GSM version, but um, the CDMA version works only with iOS 5 through 5.11 works on all firmwares. It didn't say that there were any exceptions, which is 1.0.11, 1.0.13, 1 1.0.14, 2.0.12. Uh, jailbreak uh, is required um, and uh, installation of the Furious mod. Again, their video instructions are available on their website. And uh, it will unlock your uh, for us to work in any uh, GSM network. Um, I don't think it will allow you to w want it on another CDMA network. And by default, it um, is set up to work with them. Um, it assumes that your device is a Verizon iPhone. If you're not using a Verizon iPhone, then you have some additional steps to reconfigure it so that way it thinks it's a CDMA uh, iPhone, uh, a Sprint CDMA iPhone. But, um, it's all simple enough to do. Their video instructions are available on their website. And for those of you that have an iPhone 3GS uh, with an incompatible firmware that UltraSnow won't work with, you can use uh, Red Snow to um, the latest Red Snow to downgrade uh, your firmware. Although that can be kind of a complicated, a little bit of a complicated process, and if you don't have the right serial number. Um, iPhone 3G or 3GS, it could break your device. So, but anyway, that's a whole other video. But anyway, I hope this helps out all of you iPhone 4 and 4S owners. Uh, please like and please subscribe. Thank you.